if you use Joomla, you can find information on your current version of Joomla in system information. Joomla version 3.1.5 stable. And now you, you see that it's checking if, if there's a update available. The latest update is 3.21. You can choose to use these, these functions to update Joomla. But uh, like I have experienced, this will not always work. So I use an alternative way to update Joomla. I, I do it via the FTP for way and I have a filezilla already open. This is filezilla. File I have to open HTTP docs. You see all files in here. And then I go to where I have the already downloaded the latest Joomla version. It's in downloads. Joomla 3.21. I, I download the full version. Because it doesn't really matter if you use the upgrade version or the full version except for the installation file. So you need to select everything. You do that with Ctrl Alt A. Ctrl Alt A. Or is it this way? Let's see. Or shift like this. Ctrl Alt Shift. Until shift. Normally, normally with other files you do it onto Alt I A, but now you have to do it with Ctrl Alt Shift. So I have Ctrl Shift and then select everything. But we don't need the installation folder now. So we need everything but the installation folder. We can delete it later on also. We select upload. It is uploading in, in, in that. Make sure you have selected everything. I click, I click upload. And this it says overwrite. And select this action always. Select all. You have to use this always. So I select this one. Click OK. Now it's uploading everything to the into the FTP with the FTP. And we have to wait because it are over five thousand files. It will take some time, but it's quick enough.
you can see the, my administrator page is uh, now all blank but it's still uploading my side page is also blank FTP do does all the work. You don't have to do anything except to to, to uh, delete the install folder, installation folder here, because you don't need that. Because it already has a Unity version in it. And it's blank. The page is blank because it's a. Uh, it's uh, it are different files. So in the, if it are different files, it can cast a blank blank page if not everything is uploaded already. In FTP you usually fill fill in FTP your website. Dot com and here you. Fill in your username and your password. But the host is not always FTP dot your, your website name dot com. It can also be an IP number. And you can fill a port in, but I, I usually don't fill anything in here. Unless I get problems with, this, uh, with uh, filling things in or getting connected, I, I don't fill anything in. It's use uh, the default port. Usually, this is the time when you get some coffee or uh, do something else, and then you uh, come back to FTP and say, "Hey, it's uploaded everything." Now I only have to delete the installation folder and do some other things to make it completely work because the, the screw will not be updated with this way. You have to do that manually and I'll tell you how to do that when it's finished uploading everything. Just the screw. When it's working, it's in the administrator version, but it's not working right now yet. Wow, it's almost uh, done now. It's um, two thousand. It's half done. Two thousand six hundred. See if it's already up. It 
So I'm going to show some installation index. So it already knows that there is an installation folder there. It's nothing supposed to be there, but I will delete it after it's finished. As you can see, this is the installation folder. I delete it when it's finished. Okay, it's on 700, 1700. Let's see, you have a installation phone here already. I can delete it already. It says I have to manually delete the installation folder. Can do that by going to Filezilla, click on installation, and press delete. It's already is deleting the installation folder while it's uploading the rest of it. This saves time when I'm finished uh, doing so. 1200 files left. Hopefully this goes fast. Okay, the installation folder is now gone. Let's see, my website is up already. Not everything is on it already yet, so... Hey, it's back! It's my website. The Jackson's on it. Look at that. Well, I'm going to go to the Administry folder. This is because it's not uh, not fully installed yet. Usually when you go here, extensions, extension manager, after it's finished you go to database. It says uh, database is not up to date. Normally you can fix it too. Then it's all it is fixed to 3.21 then. Let's see if Falsilla is finished. Just 200 more files. Okay, it has uploaded everything now. No more files here. So I'm now going to the page I already was in. Database file. Now click on fix.
Now it says database table structures of today. Extensions, extension manager, database. That the database table structures up to date. That's good. So we go back to system. System information. And we now see Joomla 3.21 table. Back to Joomla. Control panel, check the Joomla. You're holding, it, you're holding it in the latest Joomla version. Okay, that's good. That's my clock, you hear it. So I've, I'm now done in installing Joomla and updating the Joomla school version. Let's see if my website works correctly. Because otherwise I have to fix issues. Like last time this wasn't working. It seems to work now. Event, uh, the event calendar is still working. Zeker omdat je fietst als je sms't, omdat de tandarts je ook graag ziet en omdat niet je hele salaris aan loopt. Zie ik de links werk. Zo zien ze werk, oké. Oké, ik denk we are done now.